like it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the play for all the boys, for the girls, yeah. for all the girls, for the boys. Yeah. Ones. Yeah. yeah. Well, my dad said that we look like punches in girls' dresses, oh. and how we're gonna look like great big puffs. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's very enlightened of him. Personally, don't worry, Watson. I'm gonna make sure you look absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> mostly. How about you? Mm, well, I had a double period with 9F, mm -hmm. followed by a double with 10T, and the afternoon rehearsing as you like it with a load of hormone riddled teenagers. Oh. <laughs> well, I know what you need. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just can't imagine still having friends that I was at school with. I mean, you know, Having an adult relationship with someone I've known since, what, 11? Well, that's because you moved to London from the sticks. I mean, we were born and brought up here and we've just sort of stayed put. Well, Anna went to the States for a bit. Anyway, we don't see each other all the time. It's just birthdays and Christmas. And it's your get-together. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I think it's kind of sweet. Well, you, you talk to them on the phone, though. Well, I know you talk to Anna. Is she the one I'd like best, you think? I mean like, not fancy. Well, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Not quite sure how you'd take the others. Anna's had most of the rough edges smoothed away. A bit like you, you mean? Don't they even suspect? I know you don't believe me, but the relief would Please be... Please spoil things, Chris. I'm not spoiling anything. I just want us to talk. You always have to push it. Push it? I, I think I've had the patience of a saint. Do you know what it feels like to always have to skulk around? I mean, we're supposed to be having a relationship, but I seem to be the only one who thinks so. I know it's hard, I know, but it's not going to get any easier, and they are your friends. Look, it's not that simple. And anyway, I told you, I'm, I'm going to tell them. When? There never is a right time, you know. <laughs> I don't suppose they even know I exist, do they? I didn't think so. Janet, can't drink orange juice on me end now. I'm fine. Oh, oh, yes. I don't know why we so is one my cup for. <laughs> we'll say drink for bang, won't we go? Yeah, 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 a big bang. Oh, 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 it's a Susie. 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 Oh, God. Don't worry, start without me. Hello, Linz. Hi, oh, Lindsay. 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 Come and join us. Lovely, Lindsay's. <laughs> What, in battle or something? Oh, 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 oh
What's he do for a living? Teacher. Oh, that's nice. Hey, do you remember what we were like when there was a new male teacher in school? <laughs> do you remember Randy Nelson? Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh, yes! Oh, Nelson's column. Oh, yes. <laughs> Tell you what, they made a nice change from old videos. <laughs> do you remember the one who taught maths? You know, really weird, kept touching her mind all oh, the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but she was a lazy, weren't she? Was she? Of course she was. What the bloody <laughs> hell do you think was the matter with her? Mm, just never <laughs> heard to me. Well, people didn't talk about things like that in them days, did they? This bloke once, right? And he could only get a hard on if I talk dirty to him. He was asking the right one, wasn't he? <laughs> well, he wasn't, actually. Actually. Oh, really? actually. He kept saying, no, he kept saying to me, talk dirty to me, talk dirty to me. <laughs> could I think of anything else they could have on us? So you just tell him to sort <laughs> off. Yeah. Do you know what I suppose I should have done? He was such an arsehole. Do you know what he said when I asked him if he had a condom? Not me, babes. I only ride bareback. Oh, 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 Any time, day or night. Yours, all right. Drag him along if you have to. Well, um, uh, Chris is a bit shy, you know, Suze. Yeah, we'll be able to serve, won't we, girls? Yes. Yeah, well, I can just imagine. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for coming. All right, darling. Look, at least if you show him off, then you won't have to put up with her mum saying when you're going to find yourself yeah. a oh, nice yes, young man. man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll see you. Bye. 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 Goodbye, Bye. Good night. Bless. time. Well, I don't know about nice. It was interesting in a grisly sort of way. After the restaurant we went to a male strip club. 
I don't suppose my name came up, did it? Look, if you want this to work, Karen, you can't pretend for the rest of your life. Pretend? I don't pretend. Who are you kidding? What, what the hell do you think you were doing tonight? You're sitting there gawping at a load of naked men along with the rest of them. Lay off, will you? I don't need this. No? And I don't need a relationship where I'm taken out of a box when it suits you and packed away again when it doesn't. It's not like that! Yes, it is. It's exactly like that. And if that is as far as you can go, then that is fine. But I'm a person. I'm not there for your convenience. And I won't be... That's it. Run away! It's not. I'll get her. Hello? Hi, Anna. Hi. Hi. No, no, it, it, it's just a friend. Um. Um. Uh, sorry, sorry. Are you all right? Yes, of course, of course. Yes, I'll see you at lunchtime. Okay, bye. Hi. Oh, thanks for coming. Have you ever thought about kids, Karen? Because the fact is, I got pregnant and then I had an abortion. Oh, he, he didn't want the baby. Oh, no. No, he really did want it. No, it was me. I... I don't know. I got scared, I suppose. I... It was all too soon. I thought a baby might come between us and spoil things, you know? And then there was my career. I'd worked so hard. And... Callum went mad. He'd come round, but he didn't. I ended up losing my baby, my job, and my man. I tell you, on a scale of one to ten for shit decisions, I'm straight in there with double figures on this one. <laughs> Why don't you go and see him? Talk to him about how oh, you feel. If only it was that easy. You don't have to make it so hard. Come on, Anne, if you've got a chance of happiness, you should grab it. <laughs> You're a long time dead, remember? <laughs>
You were right, everything you said. It's just so hard. But I do love you. I do, I love you, and I'm not ashamed of the way I feel, really, I'm not. I always thought I was quite a brave person. But you're right, all, all I've done is hide you away because I'm so bloody afraid. And I never stopped to think about how you might be feeling and I can see how much I've hurt you and I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I want you to come with me to Susie's wedding. You don't have to. But I do, I want you to come. You're right. I started to face up to things. Please, will you come? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. so noisy, everybody in that conference centre must have heard us. We? You, you mean? You were loud enough to wake the dead. Oh, Sh yes! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> unlike you, squeaky little mouse. <laughs> well, thank you. Unlike you, I didn't particularly want everybody to hear. Do you remember the looks we got the next day at breakfast? <laughs> from those sensible teachers at, from Surrey. <laughs> <laughs> Seems ages ago now. <laughs> it was ten months and nine days. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Remember how scared you were? Well, I haven't been round the block as many times as you. Round the block? You hadn't even been to the corner shop. <laughs> I'm pleased to say. <laughs> It's going to be all right tomorrow. Believe me, I know what you're going through. It was the same for me, but you just get through it. Anyway, it's your own fault, because if you'd worn those dungarees and had your head shaved, like I said, I think they'd have cottoned on already. I shan't recognise you. Oh, yes, you will. I'll be the one prancing around with a big pink rock. You'll look sensational. Just as long as you think so. I'm beginning to wish the whole thing was over and done with. Don't, you'll enjoy it. Well, it's not every day you get asked to tart yourself up and be all posy. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah? Yes. It'll be fine. Yeah. I know it will. Oh, bloody hell, look at the time. <laughs> will you keep still? Don't worry, you've got ages. Do you think I should bone Joe and make sure he's up? No, look, everything's going to be all right. You just relax. <sighs> And you have a cup of tea. Oh, that's the 50th cup of tea she's given me this morning. <laughs> At this rate, I'll be able to float to the bleeding church. <laughs> Do you remember when we watched your dad climb over the garden wall and creep into next door's Wendy house? <laughs> I couldn't believe it when that woman went in after him. And you remember we were peeping through your curtains for ages watching that little house rattle around. <laughs> And when your mum came upstairs, we went and hid under the bed covers. <laughs> you 
think she ever knew? I don't suppose she ever wanted to. Over there. I'm gonna get Steve to take her back to our place so she can get cleaned up. You'll bring her on later. Uh, do you think that's such a good idea? Oh, sorry, sorry, you don't know each other, do you? Jan, this is Simon Paxman, the best man. It's just that things are a bit tense already. <laughs> and whose fault's that? If your mate hadn't have... Oh, it's all right. Um, Simon knows what's been going on. Well, he knows that Jay was having an affair and he's just sort of put two and two together. <laughs> you knew? You lot just can't keep your dicks inside your pants, can you? One whiff of a bit of nookie and you're like a rat up a drain pipe. Hey, hey, hold on. It's not my fault. I didn't know it was Susie's mate, did I? It's just a last ditch fling, that's all. A quick... Shag. She's all my friend over there. She'll be really comforted by that. Look, look, this is getting us nowhere. Why don't we just stick to the story and hope for the best? This is it. One, two, three. And one more, please. And keep the smiles. Keep the smiles on your faces. That's it. Keep smiling, please. Uh, if you could just move in a little bit closer to Susie, please, Joe. That would be a lovely thing. Thank you. Yes. Uh, shush, 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 shush. The waitress, she's dropped the trifle. Yeah, and it, it's all over the floor. Um, very slippery. Uh, could be dangerous. We are, Mum. They got trifle. Nice and soft on Daddy's gums. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, what was that? What the bleeding hell do you think it was, woman? Nobody's got a mouth on them like your daughter. Maybe they're consummating the marriage. Go on, my son. We're not all like you, Charlie. <laughs> it's bad enough of this. Come on, let the dog see the rabbit. My mouth's like a camel's ass. <laughs>
much, Anne. Thanks, Dave. You okay? I suppose so. As Susie. As well as can be expected. She thinks she knows. Well, she guessed. Please, Chris, please don't start on me. Look, you would just not believe what's been going on here. of our lives. We're, we're looking for different things. Anna, I, I, I need to talk to you. This is my friend, Chris. Chris. Doozy, I'm so sorry. Yeah, real piss on right. You see, Mandy, I tell you, I didn't read about none of this in Bride's magazine. And to top it all, I've just caught my chief bridesmaid snogging with a woman. Karen I'm talking about. Yeah. You know? Why am I always the last to find out about anything? I tell you, I don't think I can take much more today. Come on. Hi. 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 I'm Chris, Karen's partner. Oh, I'm just going to get a drink from the bar. I I'll get it from... No, no. You stay here. With, um... With Chris. Maybe she thinks it's contagious. I knew this was a mistake. I just wish we could go home. Karen, which you're going? Come on, please. Both of you. Jan, come here. We still love you both, don't we? Come on. <laughs> right, now stay there. Don't move. Oh. No, Laura. As long as you bring her back. Where did you come from? It's bloody gorgeous. The one you had earlier? <laughs> Last time I saw him, he's getting his leg over in the car park. Oh, <laughs> That's very commendable. I was saying you're in such a helpful mood today. You can get me another cup of coffee. White, please. No sugar. And Barrett. Don't even think about spitting in it. Out through your mouths. Good. Nice, quiet, calm moment for yourselves. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Good. Nice and quiet. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay. Try and ignore Barrett. In through the nose. Oh, Karen. Glad I caught you. Simon's leaving present. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should be a good party. Mm. What's the form on taking someone along? Oh, um, yeah, I think it's fine. But you're not. No. I've got a couple of tickets for the new Macbeth on the 19th. I was wondering if you'd like to come. Oh. The eight form was very good, by the way. Uh -huh. It's a shame you couldn't make it. Oh, well, um, uh, I'll check in my diary and um, I'll get back to you. <laughs> sure, no problem. Oh, by the way, there was a message for you. It's a boy. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm going to be sick. I'll tell you, I've got this great big bloody sanitary towel they've given me. It's like having a duvet shoved down your <laughs> knickers. I can't even put my legs together. Well, nothing's changed there, then, is it? <laughs> man, don't yeah. Hello, man. Do they show you what to do? Sort of. Most of the time they're running around like blue ass flies. Ow! You're right. You're right. Right. Yeah. Now, who does that remind me of? <laughs> Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> <laughs> Poor cow. I'm like squatting on a peanut. Oh, yeah, well, we're not all as lucky as you. And talking of which, where is Big Boy? Oh, he was knackered. I sent him home. He must be dead pleased with himself. The bloody hell's that? Oh, God, sorry, it's me. Oh, oh I know, I know. You're not know, supposed to have those in here. I've probably killed off half a dozen people with that call already. <laughs> yeah, well, let's hope he's bloody worth it. Here we are. Sorry, girls, I've got to go nature calls. Oh, let me guess. I don't want any lectures, teacher, because I haven't had sex for a week. A week? <laughs> Joe ain't been able to go and me for over a month. Not even Doggy Doggy. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. <laughs> Listen, don't forget to let me know about mm. the head wetting, will you? All right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So, has anyone met this bloke yet? I don't think it's the kind of relationship where you take him home to meet your mum. Oh, what, a bit like yours, you mean, Kat? Oh, oh, very funny. No. No, not like mine, actually. <laughs> He's married. Look, I'd better be going. I've got some marking to do. Well oh, done, you. Well, thanks. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for lovely. coming. You coming, man? No, I'll hang on for a bit. Oh. Take care. See you. Bye. Bye. OK. OK, listen up, everybody. Can you get Romeo and Juliet? Yeah. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, yes, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh. Right, uh, the famous balcony scene. Who'd like to be my Romeo? Mr. Barrett, I'm sure you could give Leonardo a run for his money. He was crap. Yeah, to tell you the truth, I never rated him much myself. Right, act two, scene two. I thought you liked my friends. Yeah, I do. They're just a bit much en masse. But I think Susie's expecting you. I don't suppose that Steve or Joe will be there, will they? Uh, no, I shouldn't think so. But then you're a woman. Thank you, but I am also your partner. I'm not one of the gang, and that's fine. I'm, they're just your friends. Look, why don't you go get drunk, cool the baby, have a giggle. <laughs> oh. Yes, hi, hi, Jesse. All right, uh, last one to the gate buys the ice creams. Oh, you're such a cheat! you or wouldn't you? I wouldn't. <laughs> Piss off, dwarf! <laughs> Give him skulls. Walk, don't run. Lazy alert, lazy alert, lazy alert. 
Oh, I feel a bit queer. Where should you be? Math. Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, the, um... Testosterone alert, more like. Yeah. Oh, right. Did you check your diary? Sorry? To see if you're free for the bard. Oh, um, yes. Um, no, no. Um, I've got something else on that night, so, um, sorry. Um, thanks, though. Um, better go. Yeah, sure. No problem. Now, that's a metaphor. Can you remember that we were doing some work yesterday on metaphors? Sam Barrett! Is there something you'd like to share with us? Good. Right, so what was Orwell's view of communism? Barrett? Hitler hated commies. Yes, that's true. And queers. <laughs> and Hitler was an evil madman, Barrett. Oh, oh we ain't seen Chris in ages. Well, she's a great believer in us doing our own thing. Yeah. You know? Not yeah. trouble in the love nest, is there? No. I've told you, get yourself a boyfriend. Are <laughs> so many never disappointed? Oh, no, you're <laughs> never disappointed, oh, are you? No. <laughs> They're always with Time for me to go. Yes. Oh, someone's filled his nappy, eh? Well, go on then, show him what a new man you are. Do you upstairs, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. No, oh, no, no, no. And it's got to be the godmother, isn't she? I mean, only child, spinster. Oh, I did. She'd even more money, wouldn't she? Spinster, bloody hard. Shut up, you. Well, Cab can't do it, can she? Oh, oh, why? Sorry, Cab, but I, I couldn't face me old man. I mean, he does think the world of you, but I think he'd be a bit worried his grandson would end up a bit mm. wealthy. Oh, oh, please. Oh, please, I don't believe well, it. And you don't want to do it, would you, man? Oh, don't I? Well, you've just got rid of yours. You don't want responsibility to someone else's, do you? Oh, you are, then. And Jan... Well... Mm. No, it's got to be the old Baron bidding her bank account. <laughs> you little <laughs> bitch! Shut up, I won't leave you a penny. <laughs> and, uh, how are things with Frank? I've decided to chuck him. Anna? I told her. She wants to write to one of them lonely arts. No, she's not that desperate. Who <laughs> says she ain't here? <laughs> here, I'll find you one. No, 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 she could just go out and pay for uh, it. Excuse me, uh, the sad bitch in the corner would like to say something here. <laughs> Who's the sad bitch? Take your pick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cheeky cow. Oh, look at him. Getting really good at this, ain't ya? Yep. There you go. OK. I gotta go. Don't you lot get too drunk, yeah? See you later. Thank you. Big boy. <clears throat> Your sexual orientation being the subject for speculation in this term, I just thought I'd forewarn you in case you hadn't... Um... Yes. <clears throat> yes, quite. Actually, the chair of governors mentioned it after last night's meeting. The governors? It's only a rumour. Well, that's what I thought. So it, it, it has no basis in truth. I... Fine, it's good. It's just that um, parents can be good. good. Hi. I've just been into your class. Things were getting a bit rowdy. Oh, right, thanks. Oh, and by the way, if your taste ran to something a little... Softer, shall we say? You only had to tell me. I'm as liberal as the next person, you know. And R and B is my favourite type of music. Great, great, that's good. Right, who'd like to go next? Barrett. Okay. Now stand up, then, so we can all hear you. What are you going to talk about? People. Watching people. Watching people. <laughs> right? OK, big voice. Most of the people you watch are really boring. They just walk around and do their shopping and that. But it really makes me laugh when someone don't know you're watching them. And they pick their nose or scratch their bums. <laughs> <laughs> but the best thing, right? is when you're watching them indoors. And I don't even know you're there. Once, right, I was looking through this window, into this house, watching these two women. I was just walking about, yakking, 
Poncy place. Big green rug all over the floor. The next thing I knew, they was kissing. <laughs> and grabbing each other's tits. I was wicked and I couldn't That's believe enough. it. Okay, who's next? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you think I'd be able to find someone without having to resort to a bloody lonely art set? I mean, I'm bright, I'm well off, I'm not unattractive. Well, maybe I should just stick with Frank. No, no, Frank's not the answer, and you know he isn't. Especially if you want to have kids. Karen, Anna, who said anything about... Don't deny it. Now look, look. There's no point in mucking around with a married man. If you want the whole package, you've got to go out there and, and you've got to just find somebody who's eligible. Now, the odds are he's not going to just knock on your office door, so why not the lonely heart? Oh, I don't know. I'm just not sure that I'm ready yet. Oh, yeah, like you can really afford to wait. Oh, oh thanks very much. God, now you sound like Mandy. All I'm saying is the fact that you've placed the ad means that you're more ready than you think. <sighs> I'm sorry. What for? Oh, for the self-obsession. I am trying to kick it, you know. <laughs> Look, enough about me. How are you? How are things? Oh, um, you know, much the same. Chris! I'm not all right. You've got to come home. <laughs> Thanks, love. So how are you going to celebrate? Pop up the club for a drink, I expect. Oh, I meant to tell you. We met a couple up there last week. Just moved in. You know what your dad's like. Told them all about you being a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, it turns out their boy teaches at your school. Oh. What was his name? Shearer. Scholes. That's it, Scholes. Do you know him? Yes, yes, it's Richard Scholes. He teaches science. Scientist. He'll be at the club with them later. Well, actually, I was going to suggest that we go out for a meal. Be my treat. Um, there's a new Italian up on the high street. No, love, you've got better things to do with your money than waste it on us. We'd just be as happy up at the club. Come with us. Keep your friend company. Well... Anyway, you know your dad's not keen on pasta. It, it, he's not my friend, and, and really, an evening with Dick Scholes is about the last thing I want. I saw that friend of yours a few days ago, Chris. Oh, where? When I was driving back from the hospital. She didn't see me. Has she done any more about finding herself a flat? Only it can't be very comfy for her on that sofa of yours. Well, One might be enough for my back. I don't think she minds. She probably likes the company. Still, it can't be very nice for you, can it, having your living room taken up like that? Especially if you want to invite friends back or bring a young man home. Those sofas, they're not no, made Mum, for... Mum, th th there's something that I, I need to tell you. Both of you, um... Um... 
There's nothing wrong, is there? No, it's about it's about Chris. Um Chris, she doesn't sleep on the sofa. You haven't gone and got one of them futon things, have you? Cos I've read somewhere they can cause terrible... No, way. Mum, I haven't got a futon. Chris sleeps in my bed. So where do you sleep? Oh, Christ, where do you think? Chris and I sleep together. Chris is my partner. I'm a lesbian. And, and Chris... She's my partner. What on earth are you talking about? Lesbian. What kind of bloody nonsense is that? No, it's not nonsense, Mum. It's what I am and I've been trying... Dad? 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 I don't know why you let the little shit get to you. No, you wouldn't. Well, if it bothers you so much, then make a complaint. Tell the head. Tell the police. How can I? And you have no alternative. Ignore him. Well, yes, I mean, that would be quite easy to do if I didn't have to look at him across a classroom every day. Well, then come out. Tell them at school. They can't punish you for it. Look, I just don't need your snidey remarks. I've already got two parents who aren't talking to me. <sighs> I know. I'm sorry. Look, I really am proud of you. They will come round to it. Karen, you're their little girl. They'll get used to it, I promise. Uh, Jack? Why would you have to tell him? Have you been talking to Mum? Listening to her cry her eyes out would be more precise. How is she? Well, what do you think? What about Dad? Dad? Dad can't even bring himself to talk about it. How does somebody suddenly decide they're gay? That's what I'd like to know. Thought Mum was having a bloody laugh when she phoned. Is everything all right? Um, this is my, my brother Jack. Jack, this is Chris. Oh, we were just about to eat. Do you want to come and join us? You give it a couple of days, Karen, and you go round and see them, all right? Jack, why don't you come in? I'd, I'd like to talk to you. I would. Jack? Karen? It's been a call. Is he? He was sitting there in the armchair. Bright as rain. Next minute he was on the floor. What have they said? Some problem with his heart muscles. I don't understand. But he only had his check up the other week, didn't he? And they said that he was alright. You at me now, eh? Do you want to talk? Well, look, come to bed. Let me hold no, you. No, no, no. I want to finish this.
thy saints, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Auntie Margaret, just about to go. How am I going to manage? Your dad always cut grass, paid the bills. You've got me and Jack, don't worry. We do everything for you. Don't you come downstairs for a little bit, eh? It's so cold. Get you something. You got a nerve bringing over here? Your wife. Oh, yeah? What, you reckon Dad would want her, really? Or you, company? Oh, Jack! Reason he's in that coffin's down to you. You know it? I oh, know it. Mum knows it. It's killed him to think he raised a bloody freak. Bastard! You just couldn't keep your mouth shut, could you, eh? You just couldn't no. keep it to yourself, eh? Jack! <laughs> Stop it! Do you know what, Mum? I look at her, right? <laughs> and that bloody died down there, what they've done for my dad. <laughs> they just made me want to puke! <laughs> Can we get her? Jack! Get her, yes, Stop you. it! Leave her alone, Jack! when we get a stone. Did I show you the brochure? No. Did he say anything? About me? He was upset. I can't pretend he wasn't. It's hard, Karen, for people like me and your dad. As old as you are, you were still his little girl. And it just made him sad, I suppose. You want things for your kids. Never had a chance to talk to him. I wanted to try to make him understand. I just remember him walking out the door, refusing to look at me. And then the last time I saw him... Oh, oh dear. Maybe Jack was right. Now, don't start that again. Jack was just upset. Your dad had a bad heart. I know, but I, I keep thinking if maybe I hadn't have said anything. That had nothing to do with it. You didn't kill him, Karen. He had a bad heart. All right, listen. Don't forget, just use the story as a springboard. Think about your own experiences that you've had that have been scary and how you reacted and all that. Okay? All right, time's up. Let's have
have your chairs up here. Quietly now. Get your arm. Cutler, Barrett, can you stop being so silly? You're just wasting everybody's time now. Come on. Right. Um, now, let's see. Let's have Emily's group first. Oh, no, me. Come on, you can set the standard. Hang on a second. Barrett! Bring me whatever it is you're showing Cutler. What, miss? Now. Can't wait to find out what's so fascinating it's going to get you a detention. Pick it up. I mean, whatever that is that's behind your back. Your bedroom's lilac. Just give it to me. Piss off, you dyke! Come on, Barrett, please. Don't touch me, you lazy! Oh, you, you should have gone to the head straight away. You no, know, I know I should have. I just wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible. If you'd report him in the first place, then maybe it wouldn't have gone this far. You pushing him. I didn't you? push him. I didn't. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I might... I, I don't know. I might have pushed him. I, I just... Oh. Everything happens so quickly. And... Oh, Christ. What do you think is going to happen, Chris? Am I going to lose my job? Yeah, I won't come to that. <laughs> You might make a bit of an effort. Hey, give us a kiss. Oh! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, how are you? Well, when did you get back? A week ago. Well, how was it? Yeah, hot. <laughs> two years is too long, though. You look terrific. Thanks. <laughs> oh, sorry, um, Karen, Sarah, Sarah, Karen. Hi, Karen. So? I didn't know Sarah was going to be there. Anyway, even if I had, we were just catching up. She's an old friend. A bit more than an old friend. Yes, OK. But if you hadn't been there, I'd have told you I'd seen her. Well, why wouldn't I? I think of one good reason. Oh, God, this is ridiculous. Look, it's ridiculous. Barrett's father is claiming assault. So I'm forced to follow official procedure. Unfortunately, that dictates I inform the police. That's ridiculous. Well, one thing I would say, Karen, I could have defended you more forcefully to Mr. Barrett had I known about the incident when he came to see me. So, the police will make their inquiries and decide whether or not to initiate a criminal prosecution. How long will that take? Not difficult to say. These things can take time. Meanwhile, pending the outcome of a disciplinary hearing, I'm afraid you're suspended. Suspension's gonna last. Oh, uh, they're back in the min. Hi. What the hell do you think you're playing at? Inviting her here? Oh, hang on. Her who? Oh, don't play the innocent Sarah. Sarah. Sarah's here. Yes. Yes. Yes, she's here. Well, it could be nice and convenient. I can't dictate where she lives. Anyway, it makes sense. She's got friends around here. Hmm. And you? 
Why didn't you tell me she called you at work? <laughs> so it's okay for you not to mention things, but it's not okay for me. Oh, the way she just waltzed in here and you lapped it up. What? Posing there in your little towel. What was I supposed to do, run for cover like some bloody coy virgin? No, she certainly knows you're not that, doesn't she? You know, I didn't tell you that Sarah called. Because I knew you'd be like this. And to be honest, I find it immature and extremely boring. Oh, well, sorry if I bore you. I don't know why she can't get someone else to move her stuff. I don't know what the problem is. If it was one of your friends, you'd do the same. Big difference. I haven't slept with my friends. Is this to make me jealous? Oh, is that it? You're going to have to deal with it, Karen. This is your problem, not mine. Honestly, of all the replies I got, Michael was the only half-decent one. You ought to have seen the state of some of them. <laughs> and Iraqi train spotting oh, no. Are the roses from him? Frank. No. I know, I know. Yeah, you want to come up the club with me and some of the girls from work? Oh, oh Frank's man. No, honestly, you'll easily find yourself a bloke up there. If anyone can find a bloke, it's what sort of bloke? That club's a bit of a rough-ass man. Thanks a lot. I'll get you far now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met anyone nice? Yeah. Yeah, a couple of them have been all right. If she's been on the vodka, she'd jump on Lassie. <laughs> well, not left to talk about me, will you? Oh, Anna, I'm sorry. He's puked all over your oh, cushion. Oh, that doesn't matter. Little Nathan, come here, give it me. Oh, sorry. Very good. Can I have to? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, he's heavy. Yeah. Oh, oh Is everything all right with you and Steve? Walks around like a bloody peacock. You'd think no other bloke had ever had twins. <laughs> what about that girl at work? There's nothing going on. He might have thought about it. Can't blame him for that, though, can you? Mm -hmm. I tell you, there's this bloke up the playgroup. Oh, yeah! No, we haven't done anything. Yet. But he is fanciable. <laughs> what, Gus? Muesli, man. <laughs> no, no, I tell you, I had this really dirty dream about him the other night. I mean, really filthy. A muesli man or not, stark, bollock, naked, on top of a bus shell up. Bus shell, <gasps> yes! And do you think about him when you're making love to Joe? No. <laughs> well, not all the time, anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Joe's got his little porno flicks, hasn't he? Oh, does he? Yeah. How oh, they all do? He'll probably have a quick ten minutes when he gets home from work tonight. Oh, Joe, please. Oh, I've got to have a pee. It, you'll never guess what. What? He's only been playing around again, hasn't he? Oh. Who do you think? Joe, husband from hell. No. Bastard. Oh, Mandy, are you sure? You've got to tell her, Mandy. Do you reckon? No, maybe she doesn't want to know. Or maybe she does know already and she just doesn't want us lot to know. No, I think she's got a right to know if something's going on. But she really loves him. Oh, that hasn't stopped him, has it? Well, look, Mandy, your only other option, I suppose, is to talk to Joe and make him see something. That. That. It's all right. Don't have to stop talking about me just because I'm back. <laughs> no, we were just saying... Well, I was just saying. You wouldn't catch me sitting in on me 40th. Oh, that's mad. Yeah, I thought we could have a date at the races. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Oh. And chance to buy a new hat. Don't forget to put it in your diary, you. I won't. How's it going, your new job? Oh, it's great. Well, I hope so, as long as the launch party isn't a disaster. Paul, you're having a party? Oh, that's <laughs> you. Oh, uh, you know what she's after, don't you? <laughs> of course I know. Oh, yes, you can all come. <laughs> Put you away. It's in two weeks' time. I'll get Rachel to send you invitations. Yeah, I'll bet be off. You're going already? Yeah, I'm making someone up the club. Yeah, but it's Anna's birthday. Well, you can all come. What about Luke? What about Luke? Well, is he all right on his own? Well, he ain't exactly a baby. If he needs anything, he can phone Pete or get me on my mobile. I stayed in for 18 years.
just missed you. Oh. We were out of milk. All right. Oh, thank you for making oh, it. Did you find it? Oh, oh, thank you. Listen, you, did you catch the speech? Yeah, oh, oh, and great. you could hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't look nervous or anything no, like that. No, 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 I was no. terrified. <laughs> Do you like the stallions? <laughs> oh, uh, Mercedes, I've got to talk to her. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> She's good, isn't she? I mean, she is good. <laughs> Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, oh, lovely. Lovely. It's, might as well leave the bottom, mate. Thank oh. you. I love her dress. Probably cost a fortune. Oh, um, £1,800. Oh, what the hell? I could buy a whole new maternity yeah. wardrobe for that. Yeah, I meant to say to you, you can borrow some of my bits if you like. Right. Oh, here it goes. Have a look. Oh, pretty. Oh. younger than your Jason. Well, if he can get away with it. Anyway, don't knock it till you've tried it. Don't you care? You can talk. What about that brown riser at the playgroup, eh? Oh, oh, yeah, what was it? A bus shelter, peephole knickers <laughs> and a jar of chocolate Yeah, sauce. well, mine's only fantasy. It's when you do something about it that the trouble starts. Mm. Mandy's drunk away for a couple of vineyards. Oh, my God, where is she? <laughs> oh, no, please, please keep her away from my bossy's name. Well, has Janet been already? No, no. <laughs> She's discussing her slack cervix <laughs> with your own doctor. Oh, no, I guess what? Well, at least it will give him something to write about. There's something rather sexy about a doctor with a scar, don't you think? Oh, sorry. Oh, Dominique Celeste, how are you? <laughs> you know, you've got to admit it, they were bloody good, Shawadi Wadi. Oh, uh, Suze, 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 do you remember them? Under the moon of love. Man, man, can't get there, right? We're going to have a little dance with your peers. Can I have a bop? Come on, you're going to make a nice trap of yourself. Let's go and get you a nice yeah. cup of coffee, shall we? Get your coffee. You're going to embarrass Anna if you carry on like this. You're acting more like a kid than a bleeping granny. How am I? Yes. Every time I turn around, you're groping someone. Well, there's something else me and your husband have got in common then, isn't it? And what's that supposed to mean? You must have shit in your eyes if you can't see what's going on. You can't stand it, can you? You can't bear to see us happy. But well, if you think you're going to find another Joe prancing around like that... You bitch! She's drunk! Get it! Look, she's the last one who should criticise me for having a bit of fun. I mean, Christ knows I deserve it! She's thinking of you, man. No, she's not! She's judging me and I've had someone doing that all my life! Well, from now on, I'm going to be me and I don't give a toss what anyone thinks! And especially not her! Come on, I'm taking you home. I'm not going home. I tell you what, I've never had so much sex. Must do something to you. Being pregnant? Yeah. You want to make the most of it. By the time the nine o'clock news comes on, all I fancy is a nice cup of hot chocolate. In fact, I feel knackered just thinking about getting up at six. At least you've got something to get up for. Oh, it'll get sorted. What do you do with yourself all day? Play housewife while Chris goes out to work? Come on, let's go home. Oh, oh you're going. Thanks oh, so much for coming. Oh, it was brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll call you tomorrow about yeah. Mandy.
arrange for these things to be picked up later. If that's all right. change your you and that's what makes you special oh what? so special that you can't wait to go so special that sarah only has to click her fingers and you're there bye karen I'm sorry to lumber you with all my emotional baggage. Oh, be silly. Makes a change from endlessly rummaging through my own. How are things? I'm pretty much the same, really. Still wallowing in self pity. You're too hard on yourself. Uh, you're looking at a failed love affair. Failed career, failed relationships. It's hard not to see yourself as a bit of a failure. And I've got this disciplinary hearing hanging over my head. Well, that's just a formality. Well, I don't know. I could lose my job. It's the only job I've ever wanted to do. Do you want to go for a drink? Do you mind if I don't? I think I'm, I'm just going to walk home. Maybe help me to sleep. All right. Thank you. And take care. Call me if you need me. Thank you. Uh, I've been a, a teacher for 17 years. And during that time... I... Exemplary though your record is, I'm afraid I must ask you to keep to the specific details. Right. Um, well, um, with, with regards to the alleged push, um, well, I, I, I reached out um, towards him and, um, well, he, he just seemed to, to fall over. Um, it, it, it all happened very quickly. Um, I see. Even so, you must have realized that you should have reported the incident. Oh, yes, yeah. But you didn't. No. And um, when you reached out in order to confiscate this photograph, were you, do you think, a um, little overzealous? Perhaps uh, due to the sensitivity of the content? Or maybe you felt under personal attack? Well, despite um, c continual provocation, I, I have made every effort to teach Terry Barrett. And yes, it was personal, but that's nothing new. But, but Barrett seems to think that he has a right to invade my privacy. But isn't it a fact that speculation over your personal life happened to be fairly accurate? You can hardly blame the child for telling the... That child has been spying on me for, for months. He's been, he's been watching me in my own home through a telescope. I mean, what gives him the right to do that? The fact that I'm gay? I, I did not push him. Well, if there are no further questions, if you'll excuse us, We'll get back to you shortly. Yes, hello. Yes, I'll, I'll be right there. Okay, bye bye. Thanks. 
Having considered the various statements, evidence, etc., the governors feel the most appropriate course of action would be to issue you with a written warning. And it is their view that this should remain on your record for two years. That's a very good outcome as far as you're concerned. I imagine you must be relieved. Relieved? What, relieved to have, have a job? I'm still being punished, aren't I? What for? I'm a good teacher. I'm a good person. There's something, there's something really, really not right about this. So we'll see you bright and early next Monday. Hello. really nice to be back. Have you missed me? Yes. No. Well, look, just, just before we um, start to get down to some work, um, I'd just like to say a couple of things. Um, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry that you've had such a disrupted term, but I know that you're all aware as to why that's been the case. And the second point I'd like to make it might seem obvious, but, but I'd like to spell it out for some of you who seem to be a bit confused as to why we turn up here each day. I'm here to teach, and you're here to learn. Do you like Cody Lang, miss? Yes, yes I do. Um, but I also like boy's own. Um, I'm not quite sure what this proves, Barrett, other than the fact that I've got a crap taste in music. But if you'd like to discuss this and uh, my favourite films... Um... Or how you like being a dyke. I prefer a lesbian, actually. And yes, thank you, I like it just fine. One day, Barrett, when you finally grow up, you'll realise just how important that is. Being happy about what you are. Now, if you've got any more questions, I'd like to answer them in your time and not everyone else's, OK? Right. So maybe we can move on. OK. A room with a view. Oh, this might appeal to you, Barrett. Thank <laughs> you. 